Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will tell you all about my summer plans. I know this video is kind of late. We are halfway through July already. Can you believe that? Time is flying by. But I have noticed that I am missing some basics in my wardrobe, which we have to rectify immediately by knitting more summer garments. Uh, I prefer to wear cotton uh, instead of just a normal t-shirt I found, which is very interesting to me because I always thought it was the other way around. But without uh, further ado, I think we can get started into my hopefully realistic summer knitting plans for 2023. I have made a list, which is why I am looking down, but to give you the specs and to be super accurate, I uh, have it here on my lap. And the first pattern that I would really like to make is the Olive Tank by Sari Nordland. You will see her designs quite often <laughs> in this list because She's just one of those designers that come out with something and I want to make it immediately because her aesthetic, I really like that and the designs that she has in her garments are really appealing to me. This tank is super, super basic. It's got a round neck. Uh, you can have it as a high neck or a bit of a lower neck. I think it's also reversible. Could be wrong on that, but I think you can actually uh, wear the back in the front and the front in the back which is always good uh, you would use a DK weight yarn which is great because I think especially for this summer more and more designs came out with a thicker yarn weights which I'm all for because fingering weight projects just take a really long time the stitch gauge is 16 stitches so you have a bit of an open gauge working with the DK weight yarn you need between uh, 820 to 1760 meters or 897 to 1925 yards which i think is okay for a dk weight um shirt tank <laughs> and the yarn that i would use is drops bell I had a look at uh, the sizes, I would probably make size 2 with a 90 centimeter bust which gives me plenty of positive ease and this is the yarn that I have in stash, this is drop spell, I've had this for ages in my stash, this is number 15, it is a blend of cotton, um, linen and viscose. 53% cotton, 33% viscose and 14% linen, which is the same composition uh, as um, Saneskan Line or Tin Line. So if you want a little bit of more affordable and a more affordable option, you could try Drops Bell. I am not a huge fan of the blue, but since I have it in my stash, I would give it a go. I have so much of this, like I just said, because originally I wanted to make a card again and I just never got around to it. So hopefully this year I can make something with it and hopefully it will be the olive tank. Next up, we have such a popular design. I know, I know. This is the Torso Tea by Rebecca Clo. Really, really popular ever since it came out. Even before the pattern came out, everyone was just so in love with it and raving about it. And I totally understand why. Again, you work with DK weight and the stitch gauge is 17 stitches. So again, just like the olive tank before, a bit of a looser gauge, a bit more airy. Uh, you need uh, 474 meters for the smallest size, all the way up to 1012 meters for the biggest, which is 518 uh, to 1107 yards. I think about for the smallest size 474 meters is not a lot and I think you can really make uh, a lot of stash busting uh, with such a small amount of yarn which is great. I have actually already started this t-shirt because I need t-shirts. I'm just gonna say it how it is. I do need t-shirts and I need them fast. So I started and this is where am I am at. 
I went for for the stripy version. Uh, I am alternating the skeins. I haven't decided yet because you get this weird line. Anyways, this is uh, Drops Saffron in the colour 64 and 68. This is what it looks like. Technically, it is a sport weight yarn. I am just using it as a DK weight because my gauge is looser anyways. So I'm hoping that it will be fine in the end. I did uh, size down half a needle size. Normally, you need 5mm needles. Uh, for this garment I'm using four and a half for the main part and the stripes are spaced out a bit um, more because I didn't like it uh, to be that dense so instead of six rows you have eight in between the stripes so far I am really happy the pattern is great I highly recommend it and I think what's so appealing with this uh, design is you have so many modifications and variations uh, that you can make and she does include that in the pattern itself as well so you don't have to pay any extra you get it all in one moving on we have two different patterns but they look really similar and i haven't decided yet uh, which one i want to make the first one is the summer secret crop by Jesse made designs very very popular uh, it is a free pattern you need a fingering white yarn the stitch gauge is 17 stitches so this time it will be really open and you need 160 meters to 457 meters or 175 to 500 yards which is such a small amount uh, of yarn that I think everyone can just scrap together in their stash because you will always have this odd fingering weight skein lying around or even DK weight, just one single thing you don't know what to do with, this would be a great option. But it is fingering weight and I have already done a few fingering weight projects this year so I really am leaning more towards the thicker gauges which the next option is the Audrey Top by Petite Knit this came out very recently and this one is a DK weight um, top the stitch gauge is 20 stitches and you need 390 to 910 meters or 427 to 995 yards again really small quantity uh, for just any size really especially the smallest ones again i would make size two and the ease is zero to five centimeters of positive ease the summer secret crop I believe has also got negative ease so it's very form fitting I don't know if I like that with my summer garments because I need something light and flowy uh, because I'm already sweating way too much so I'm leaning more towards um, the Audrey top by Petite Knit I don't have the pattern yet uh, but they both look really really similar but it's not bra friendly so I'm still a little bit on the fence I thought the yarn I could use is um, Mandarin Petite. This is what it looks like in this gorgeous dark blue colour. This is colour uh, 6072. Really, really nice um, dark marine blue. But this is a fingering weight yarn. So I ha would have to hold it double and I don't have quite enough. So I would have to buy some more of it. Now I don't know what to do, I think I'm going to have to think about that because I have so many other projects that I really would like to have and make this summer that this is not um, a priority but it would be good to have. The next project is also something I have already started, it is the Robinson Wrap Cardigan by Florence Miller. This is such a beautiful design, I know it's technically not a t-shirt, it is a cardigan wrap but I really need those things at the moment in my wardrobe. I have so many dresses, but with summer everything is just cooled down uh, inside, so the aircon is blasting uh, on full power all the time. And that is not great for me and my health, so I need to protect myself uh, against that. So I think that this would be a really versatile garment for me. You work with a DK weight yarn, and the stitch gauge is 21 stitches. 
I am making size 2 and you need between 700 and 1870 meters or 766 to 2045 yards. I am using a Sanescan Sunday. It is 100% wool. This is the color 4621. It is a very, very nice lilac, almost leaning towards uh, grey already and it is 100% wool. I know you might think this is not great for summer, I agree but again it is a wrap, it's not meant to be worn all day and especially on my commutes I think a wool garment would benefit me a lot um, more. Here is what it looks like so far, I'm of course in the middle of a row I'm not really far as you can tell but so far I've been really enjoying uh, working on this pattern. The garment or the fabric is absolutely beautiful and it feels super super nice so I highly recommend this yarn as well and of course the pattern is really well written and I'm really happy so far. And now we are already coming to the last two projects that I would like to have. They're not a priority in any way shape or form it's just something that would be nice to have but i'm not putting any pressure on myself to finish it this year the first one is a ranunculus by midori hirose i have tried this pattern so many times and failed like three or four times everyone is always super happy with their versions and i really want one as well because i think the design is gorgeous but I have yet to have one successful attempt so maybe this year will be the year where finally I can make a ranunculus. The stitch gauge is 14 stitches and why the reason why people like this pattern so much is because you can use any weight of yarn that you want and the yardage and the meterage can't be estimated beforehand because of the yarn weight that you're going to choose. So I do not know which yarn I want to use just yet. I have a few special skeins in my stash so maybe I will make it with those but uh, those skeins are merino wool so I don't know how versatile and wearable it will be for me in summer because I do want it as a summer garment in the beginning for my first version. <laughs> The second and last top that I would like to make, but again, it's not um, super important to me, it would just be really nice to have. It is the Mala top by Sari Nordland. I told you at the beginning, uh, Sari Nordland's designs will make an appearance once again. And this top also came out very, very recently, and I absolutely fell in love with the design. You use sport weight, and the stitch gauge is 20 stitches in moss stitch. So, not just regular stockinette, but in moss stitch. And you need between 540 and 1150 meters, or 591 to 1258 yards. I would make the size 2 just to give me a lot of positive ease. The ease is between 5 and 15 centimeters, so that is a quite a big range. Um, but I would like to have this as a flowy, not form-fitting top at all. And I do have some yarn for it. I actually ordered it recently. I ordered the recommended yarn, which is Sole by Pascali. And this is quite a special yarn, I have it here on my phone, because it's 90% uh, cotton and 10% cashmere. Never made anything with cashmere in it before, so this will be a first, and you get 140 meters per 50 grams in this one. So that is the recommended yarn, and hopefully I can make this top eventually, uh, when I have time, and yeah, we'll see. So those were all of my summer patterns that I would really like to make. I know I said at the beginning, it is already very late in summer. <laughs> Realistically, we only have about one and a half months left of the really hot days. I'm not mad about this. 
Uh, I prefer the cold way more and I'm really, really looking forward to autumn again. Uh, but I do need uh, some shirts fast <laughs> and that's why I wanted to create this list. Also to hold myself a little bit accountable and just have everything in one place uh, for basics that I need in my wardrobe. So I hope you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel, share if you feel like someone else could benefit from this video as well and I'm so glad you could uh, join me once again, hopefully I will see you very soon and happy knitting! Bye!